हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई फो पी टी आई एम रतनिया सो एज यू नो आई एम मेकिंग ए सीरीज ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज ऑर्डर मैनेजमेंट कोर्स सो अप टू ऑर्डर डिकम्पोजिशन वी आर डन वी हैव दट वी ऑल डन विद हैंड्स एंड एक्सरसाइजेस एज वेल एज थ्योरी पार्ट थ्योरी पार्ट यू हैव टू डू बाई योर ऑन सेल्फ आई विल जस्ट मेक योर दैट आई विल डू विद हैंड्स एंड चैलेंज मी एंड यू together we will do that so let's just start with the sub model of that industries order management that was order acquisition okay so that uh, the first course we have to be about this course you have to read all the stuffs in the theories so these these things you have to read out by yourself and these are the common for every courses if you go through that the last previously all all the objective or maybe the hands and challenges in the difference but just read out don't be ignore it anything and we have to download this hands and challenge pdf if you already have requested the playground don't be request for every time Just use the previous one only because everything will be interconnected. So now, um, if anyone who directly jump on this video, they will may not be understand this video directly. Just go through my previous videos as well. And also, if they anyone directly jump to read and learn the courses of order management before going to the CPQ, I will not ever be suggest you guys to be go through like that. Just for the previous um, things for going to the order management, you have to at least cover two part order capture and EPC that is enterprise product catalog and order capture, which is all come under in the CPQ. thank you i will definitely recommend to go through the cpq first and then go to the order management so as it is downloading the pdf uh, let's uh, introduce things just do subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment box i i like you guys really like that videos or not i'm just make sure that my video will help in e any of the person at least one of the person who is really uh, getting the things to hard tough and my video is helping out so let me know in the comment box and if positive or negative any feedback is appreciation me and it only motivation to make the another videos as well so let's get started do not waste the time this is a pdf and then uh, we have to follow the steps in so as i already told you that i not to gonna discuss any theory part read out all these things and i am considered you guys are aware of it and you read out so today's first task is uh, create create an in to end master orchestration plan definition and create orchestration item milestone definition for the in to end master and orchestration plan create an orchestration scenario for dsl service product so as i you guys already followed my uh, this series then you can uh, understand i am going to the this courses along with that pdf simultaneously so now read all these things and then you will better to understand and read this scenario as well this will discuss in the same it already discussed in the theory so i just would consider you that you got to know that about that so let's go into the task so let's get started so this one we have to search in the navigation bar let's check orchestration plan definition it is there in the top okay now click it and if it is not visible just go on the more up to here and then drop down it is drop down and it will directly come up and open it so now we have to create a new orchestration plan definition let's create a new orchestration plan this description as this is the long co long course so it it may take more than 5 to 6 videos so i will not waste the time here just go through each and every videos and then save it okay so now uh, the source the source order is just how so order is just the sequence how orchestration plan will be come up in the real time page 
save it and then we have to go into the next next is what orchestration definition is done now we have to make orchestration item definition okay so just let's create a new one and then we have to in the new we have to by default the record type should be the milestone so we need to check this one is a milestone and then press next and then we have so new orchestration item definition and the item name should be the start order and then click and the scope name should be global let's scope should be global global means it will directly come the same orchestration, uh, orchestration items for every orchestration plan definition so that's why we are selecting global as a scope and then save after saving accept the default milestone should be the default record should be the milestone that that's for sure okay we have to create another one so now we have to create another one the default milestone record type should be the milestone click next and the other orchestration item definition name should be complete order and scope should be global now we have to click save now two items are created as you can see in the pic and we already created here okay so it's perfectly matching now we have to go into the next star that is third create orchestration scenario for dsl service product now we have to go into the orchestration scenarios list okay so this one is there and then we have to create for the DSL service product, we have to create orchestration scenario. So, the scenario name should be DSL and the product is DSL service. DSL service. Now, search it and then add it. Okay. Now, click save. We have to click. And action action should be this. This availability should be action availability should be the all. It should be visual for all. Whatever the address uh, for now, action should be add, but we have some other actions like modify, disconnect, whatever action you needed for this scenario, you can add. For the this scenario, we needed add. So don't change anything according to the PDF. If you go, you will better to understand easily and completely. So now click save. Now we have to go into the next task. Continuing this next task is generating orchestration plan. So we have to up to here we created a plan definition orchestration and we are going to next jump into the orchestration plan generation. So up to task one we have to just create a orchestration de plan definition and orchestration plan scenario adding the product so now we will uh, have the second task that is generating orchestration plan using e2e master plan orchestration plan definition on the similar task we have to add this one as well so now we have to create one order now go into the order and then we have to create an order name should be e2e master plan test order let's paste it here and then for the price type it should be b2c and account should be noah white noah it's the account name should be white noah yeah it's coming so now <coughs> start date should be the today's date now save it we have to configure the order and check the similar dsl service order add into the card let's add into the card search inside the product tab add into the card and then we have to now we have to go to the take me there and download its speed should be 40 40 mbps let's let now close this now we have to decompose the order as there are some 
okay after decomposing we have to click the view or orchestration plan button some alert message is there okay if you don't perform 5 to 2 okay multi level decomposition using decomposition matrix the challenge 5 to 5 okay if you are not basically all these things are concluded in one day if you are not dealing with the previous task you cannot able to understand and also you you have to be see that if the start orchestration button is there instead of view orchestration button then you have to go back and check the browser may not block that pop up in your training playground so as we have very perfectly it is going nice so i don't have to use any of the alert masses i press view orchestration plan after that we will see that each orchestration item respond a process box if you see So uh, these are the process box, each, each thing are, is a process box and if you see in the green, these are the milestone as you can see and also they haven't add any of the actions so that's why it's coming behind the one above the another, okay. If you are performing any of the task and it was completed or anything, then it will come directly vertically segmented in manner. And you can you can resume like zoom back, zoom in, zoom out by plus and minus button. So this is orchestration scenario. Now go into the next. Now we have to click view more. Let's click view more. Any of the orchestration item. These are the orchestration item and it will display like this process box. So then any of the orchestration item, if you press more, it will directly see the details of that orchestration item. Green and due date, valid, invalid, start date, item state, item type. Item type should be the milestone as by default. You can change it and the scope should be the global first orchestration plan diff items. Yeah, under orchestration plan item. So now we have the orchestration item details now close this one and now start the process click the start process in the start button now view the orchestration items so this is we created right this one already we created inside the orchestration product scenario there we created right in the so these are the orchestration items under where we created orchestration plan definition so these will tell you the current status like start order means it will see directly the dynamically generated plan or orchestration strength and correct state of the orchestration item you can see the orchestration query that the item has was assigned to be processed that means any of the orchestration plan if you see the orchestration items they if anything is is just process like this then it will directly show the same process it will directly changes and updated dynamically in the orchestration plan so this will come under the orchestration and state will come under the orchestration queries so now we will go into the next and we have to see in the start order we have to see order item in the related in the orchestration item that is start order you can see orchestration plan priority is normal state is completed and orchestration query is query and if you go little down then you will see order item if you click order item it will directly come up the product details of that so you can see product details under that product details order product it's having the product that is gsl service if you go back and then press more and then you can see fulfillment request this fulfillment request will link that see the same same orchestration process that we are uh, done in the previous orchestration plan as you can see here in the same thing they are saying 
click on that link allow you to odd see the order that was processed by orchestration order same thing like orchestration items have which one we added the product order is dsl so that you can see directly in the by third link that link will be come under fulfillment request okay so now we will go next and this bring me end of this lecture i will continue with the next task in the next video till then we continue with this videos it's not ended up to up to end so just stay tuned with us and complete this order management course with me and complete the hands on challenge bye bye and do not forget to subscribe